shelter in the time, time of storm. Of Amen. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, now before we even get to that part, the part that struck me that says, she did this for many days. Mighty God. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise there God. are times in our lives, believers, Amen. When there are things that will come before us. Yes. Amen. And the devil will want an immediate re reaction from us. Mm -hmm. Amen. But because we are so filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we have the fire of the anointing. Yes. But boiling within our bowels. Amen. We understand, amen, that we have to try the situation first and listen to what God is saying to know what move. We should name, oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise uh, Him. We are moving before our time, amen, and doing something that was authorized by the Holy Ghost, amen, and getting ourselves in trouble, amen. This is found in the churches nowadays. If somebody comes to the church and has an affliction, persons who love when the church is under a performance will say, oh, nobody now move and do anything. But praise the name of Jesus, a true person, Filled with the Holy Ghost, we learn how to sit and discern. Praise God to sit and question God and ask, What should I do here? Am I the one that should do something? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. The Bible said, This girl possessed with the Spirit did this. She confessed, she spoke so good about the men for so many days. Mighty God. But there came a time when Paul became grieved. And he turned and said to the spirit, he could have done anything else. Yes. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. This is a man that was filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. But he spoke the word. And he said, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. To come out of her. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise him. You've got to understand the authority that we are under. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Bible says a thousand shall the fall upon the side and ten thousand at our right hand. But it shall not come nigh us, but only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, get thee behind me, Satan. Yes. In the name of Jesus, come Yes. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes God requires nothing to be done. He just wants us to speak the word. Amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise uh, him. And the Bible says that when Paul spoke and commanded the spirit to get out of her, it came out the same hour. Yes. <coughs> praise the name of Jesus. Praise when him. We understand the anointing and the authority that we have. Praise the name of Jesus. It, the, 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 the words of the song I spoke of it last week. His voice makes the difference when he speaks. Come on, church. It relieves my troubled mind. Yes. The only voice I hear that makes a difference. And, and I, I will one day at a time. And when her master saw that the hope of your gates, watch this, was gone. We're talking about people, Jewish people, you know. But the hope of their games was gone. They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. Yes. So the source of their money is now gone. Who are these men? How oh, dare you come and interrupt my Sunday sauce? Mighty God. How oh, dare you come and cut off my little money? Oh, my. Yes. oh, praise the name of Jesus. How oh, dare you come and put out my little shillings? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of And a lot of these things, believers, are found in the house of God. We see some people flourishing. Oh, yes. Praise the name of Jesus. And you've been praying year after year for a breakthrough, but it has not yet come. Amen. And some people flourishing. Praise God. Driving big vehicles, wearing the best. Oh, hallelujah. Eating the best. Going to the best places, traveling the world, and we within ourselves feel like we are not doing enough for God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise Him. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. For the Bible said, Consider the lilies of the field, the grass of the field, how they toil nor spin. But He clothes.
Deus tem amigo Salomão. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. He grows and arrays more than the grass of the field. But yet still he cares for them. He takes care of them. How much more will he take care of you, O oh, little faith? Praise the name of Jesus. So don't watch what people have. We don't know where they're getting it from. Oh, yeah. yes. A lot of these people are scammers. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus, filled with idolatry. Mighty God. Praise God, following various, various ideologies, ideology being various different teachings that is different from this good 66. Oh, yes. Amen. So they will prosper. Praise the name of Jesus. But what they in a different um, societies that are not of God. Yes. So they will prosper. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise For the little that you have, be grateful and thankful. And keep on praying because your breakthrough is coming. You don't know where they're getting it from. Yes. True, man. So when they saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they draw them out into the marketplace to the big shot people and know. Amen. Amen. And they brought them to the big magistrate, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city. Have you ever corrected somebody that was so deep in their wrongs? You did it in so much meekness. But because they were so they were so overtaken by the wrong. Amen. The, 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 the response that you get from them it makes you feel like you did something wrong. Praise the name of Jesus. You went to them so humble, so meek, following what the Bible says. But because they pop up the wrong and they get so comfortable and complacent, they can't see beyond the wrong that they're doing. So these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs. This is what they're calling the gospel of Jesus Christ. Customs which are not lawful for us to receive nor to observe being Roman, so they are denying the power thereof. But tonight we come against everything that exalts itself oh, against yes. the knowledge of God and we render it powerless in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrate rent off their clothes, tear off their clothes and commanded to beat them. So them denying the power of God, them denying the word of God, also wanted to be, be Paul. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, stripes meaning that they flogged them, they tortured them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Believers, you will be given stripes. They might not physically beat you, but the words that come from their mouths will burden you. Yes. It will make you feel depressed like you can't go on. It will make you feel like you can't live to see another day. It will make you want to hide from the face of men, but hold on to Jesus. Last week, my sister said, hold on a little longer. Oh yeah. Come on, church. The someone said, "Take Jesus at His word, at His word, and He will carry you carry you through the promised land." So after they beat them, they threw them in prison. And when He got them, what He did, He threw them in a deeper part of the prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. So imagine. A row of chains for prisoners in the deepest part of this prison and then they are bound like this. That's what it means when they are fast in the stocks. But the thing about it is when you are persecuted believers, oh, yes. when you are ridiculed, when you are spoken evil about, remember that there is a Holy Ghost inside you. Oh, yes. Amen. The Holy Ghost is the third person of this Godhead that we serve. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise Him. Praise God. And the Bible says that at, mid at midnight, yes. at this opportune time, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God. Yes. 
And the prisoners heard them. Praise the name of Jesus. When you're going through, brethren, don't hold back the praise. Not when you're going through your rough times and your trials and your obstacles, praise God. Praise God. Let the devil know, amen, that God still ruleth an eye. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Let the devil know that even though I am down, not down now, I am not out. Yes. Praise him. Even though I am going through my storm, I am coming out. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise him in your good times. Oh, yes. Praise him in your bad times. Praise him when things are going right. Yes, and praise him even more when things are going wrong. Praise him and let the devil know that God still rules. 